Hey guys, in this video we are going to be configuring the nodes and also the pools and the nodes that we're going to be adding are going to be three HTTP servers over here that I'm using and the startup configuration that I did for those um, you can see it over here um, it's just basically I'm creating um, like a simple website and this one is going to be this is HTTP 1 this one is going to be this is HTTP 2 and this one is going to say this is HTTP 3 all right and I'm going to be creating basically a node and the node is it's like a logical object um, that identifies the IP address right of a physical resource on the network um, and then after we create those three nodes over here we are going to be creating a pool and the pool is basically um, you can add a um, a group of objects into a pool so then after we create the pool we are going to be able to um, we are going to create a virtual server and all that so it's going to be fun hopefully so let's go ahead and start I'm going to go ahead to the big IP uh, we are going to go to notes you can see that we don't have anything associated over here we are going to create one um, let's say HTTP 1 for this one um, IP address 10.0.1.2 uh, I believe yep that one that two is this one all right um, the health monitors we are going to just leave it as default so HTTP 1 uh, 10 that's other one that two let's go ahead and go and if we do repeat over here it is going to create this node and then it's going to um, allow us to create another one so let's go ahead and repeat let's go ahead and say HTTP 2 this one's going to be 10.0.1.3 and let's go ahead and repeat it because we have another one there we go let's go ahead and do three and turn the zero that one that four and now we can just go ahead and do finish and that's how you create notes all right uh, like i said before uh, a note is a logical object that identifies the ip address of a physical resource on the network and you can see over here you can see the monitor um, there's you can add uh, monitors if you want over here but the monitor does the health monitor is to make sure that those servers are up and running um, because if they're not running then what f5 does is that it's going to put it offline and it's not going to send traffic there right because if it's not up and running uh, why should we send um, traffic there so for the stats um, over here you're going to see that we don't have anything over here there's no stats um, and if we try to hit one of those from this client right let's see if I try uh, to go to 10.0.1.3 that's three it's not going to take us anywhere right because we still need to create a pool and we also need to create a virtual server so let's go ahead and do that uh, let's go ahead and go back to big ip so here are the the nodes so now what i want to do is um, i want to um, group this pool these nodes together in one pool so to do that uh, we are going to go to local traffic pools we are going to hit the plus sign we are going to create one let's say call this http pool cool um, the health monitor so since i didn't associate anything on the notes you can also just associate it from the pool and we are going to say http it needs to be up um, so it's going to monitor for http if http is running from this pool right from all the notes i'm going to be associating then it is going to 
um, send traffic there. If it's if it's off, right? It's HTTP is not running, then it's not going to send any traffic there. For the load balancing method, we are going to talk about we're going to talk more about that later. But we are just going to leave it around Robin. But there is a lot of um, load balancing method that you can do in a big IPF5. Uh, and now we are going to associate the pool, uh, or we are going to be adding the node to this pool so we can associate it. So we are going to go to node list because I already have created that. We are going to, it's going to be HTTP. We are going to add this one. Pool member already exists. Uh, okay. Three and wait. Okay, let's go ahead and do this one. It's already in there. Okay, I need to do number four. There we go. So one, two, three. HTTP one, HTTP two, and HTTP three. Cool. Um, if you want to see more of this configuration, you can just go ahead and go to advanced. And you know, there's a lot more that you can do uh, for the monitor. If we had, let's say, you put also you know, you want to do the gateway to ICMP. Um, if you add that, what you can do is the ability requirement for the requirements, you can do that it needs to have at least one running, right? That's let's say that if HTTP is down but ICMP is up, then it's still going to send traffic there. Right, and also if ICMP is down but HTTP is running, then it's still going to say that it is up. But if buffer down, then um, it's going to put your node offline, right? But I just want to say all, and I just want to remove this one because I just want to monitor HTTP because it is a website, right? And it's HTTP is not running, then I don't want to send traffic there. Let's go ahead and do finished. Okay, now we have a pool. If we click on the pool, you can see that it is available. How does it know that? Because it is doing the health monitor via HTTP. You can go ahead and click on the members and you can see all the members, they are up and running, right? Cool, cool, cool. Let's say, let's bring this one down, HTTP one. And you are going to see that it is going to be bringing that one down and it's basically not going to send any traffic there. That's what it does. Uh, let's go ahead and go to members again. Uh, still showing up. Members, there we go. So now it went down. You can see that the status is offline. So what it's going to do is it is going to put it as an inactive and it's not going to send any traffic there, but I want it to act, be active. So let's go ahead and just start this up again. Hopefully, there we go. Now in a couple of, um, I think it's every five seconds that it, um, that it queries for, to see if it's, up let's go ahead and go to HTTP pool again and you can do it you can do it members there we go now it's up and running cool beans so now if we still go back and try to go to any of these IP addresses it is not going to take you anything because now we also need to associate this pool that we created to a virtual server. So we need to go ahead and create a virtual server. Let's go ahead and add it. And we are going to say just VS 192.168.0.29, which is, oh, actually, um, it's going to be this one over here. 172.25.1.1. There we go. So the type is going to, we're going to leave it a standard. In other videos, we are going to go over the other um, type that we can do. The source, uh, we're going to leave it as blank. Destination, ports going to be 80. 
or you can select that here if you don't know the port number right so we can just go ahead and do HTTP and it will put the port number uh, state I will want it to be enabled and from here I believe this is it the only thing that we need to do is we need to associate this virtual server with the virtual with the um, pools that have all the members in it so down here when you say the default you see the default pool you go to HTTP pool and since we are only going to be doing one virtual server you can go ahead and say finish if you come over here click on it you are going to see that it is available uh, you see the resources over here that you can also see these statistics which doesn't have anything um, that's because um, we haven't sent any traffic yet right let's go ahead and go back one more Let's go ahead and go back to um, local traffic, virtual servers. You can see the virtual address list. It is enabled. You click on this guy. Resources and all that cool stuff. All right. So what we're going to be doing is if we go back to over here, we try to refresh. It is still not going to send any traffic there because we need to actually go to the virtual server, which is the 172.25.1.1. There we go. So now we got traffic at, um, and it sent, it, it sent the first one to HTTP2. So if we go to the stats, you can see um, that we have some coming in and also coming out, 8.4 uh, um, kilobytes for bits you can see the packets coming in and out eight going in seven going out so really cool stuff now if we go ahead and go back to this machine and if you go a couple of refresh uh, let's do f5 a couple times now you can see that it went to http3 instead of http2 that was previous and if we keep going now it went to http1 if we keep going refreshing refreshing a bunch of times http1 what if we just http1 f5 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 did the other ones go down or something uh, let's go ahead and go back to instead of seeing it from here let's go ahead and go you can also see it from the pools click on the pool stats and you can see all the, the all the statistics over here you can see the bits the packets and all that you can see that um, indeed it is sending a lot more traffic to HTTP 1 and it only sent one to HTTP 2 and another one to HTTP 3 right so you can see all the stats in basically real time you just have to refresh um, let's go ahead and keep refreshing now I send it to HTTP 2 let's do a lot of refresh 3 2 3 2 I'm just hitting F5 a lot of times there we go let's go ahead and refresh and you can see all the stats over here so really cool it is um, up and running right now really cool stuff so we went over um, by creating nodes and those nodes are basically logical objects that identify an IP address on a network right and then we went in and associated those nodes with a pool and we call it HTTP pool so we basically grouped them together um, then after that what we did was we created a virtual server and associated that virtual server to the pool where all the nodes are and what the virtual server does it basically knows where to send the traffic right so it goes from when you hit the virtual server the virtual server sends it, sends it to the HTTP pool and the HTTP pool is the one that is going to basically be doing the um, you know the low balancing yeah. um, because from here if you go to the HTTP pool um, you can do um, different low balancing uh, let's see available let's do basic see the members 
right here when you go to the members you can see that it is round robin you can do ratio member the least connections the fastest one observes the, the least sessions the fastest application so you can do a lot with load balancing a, you know a lot of different ones which we are going to be talking about that on later videos so thank you guys for watching if you like this video hit the thumbs up subscribe to my channel I have tons of video coming up um, and also if you have a Twitter account why don't you just go ahead and follow me on Twitter at CCNA Daily Tips um, I don't post a lot I just post a lot of my videos from YouTube um, and a lot of stuff that I you know that I work that I work on so thank you guys for watching and I will see you guys on the next one bye bye